Today, a look at formatting a drive that came out of a RAID array. Now, I'm looking at a Windows 10 system, and if I fire up disk management with this two terabyte drive in an external USB 3 enclosure, uh, it comes up, it says GPT, but everything's gray. Can't delete the volume. You go here, the only option is to complete, convert to dynamic disk, but even that will fail. So I'm going to go ahead and try a third-party product, and that would be Aomi Partition Assistant. So ideally without rebooting or anything, I'm going to try the free one and see if I can get this to do what I need to do, which is simply to be able to perform a deletion of whatever's on that drive. This actually came from a Mediasonic 4-bay external drive enclosure, kind of a cheap rate for under 200 bucks. But this story could be just pretty much anybody who has a drive with a different file system that Windows just doesn't know what to do with. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the installer. Okay, Windows 10 complains a bit. All right, so now from this user interface, let's see how we can do. Okay, it's already GPT, which is desirable for anything that's two terabytes or even bigger someday. All I really need to do is create a partition, which I couldn't even do before. NTFS, sounds good. Now, I click apply. And unfortunately, I huh. have an error. All right, let's see if wiping the data first will help. So I'm going to make sure I have the right drive highlighted, of course. You can see it there. Wipe data is in the right-click menu, too. But that's going to take longer. I'm not trying to do, do a DOD wipe. How about right click, advanced, and hmm, check partition? Okay, that's going to take too long. How about quick check? Let's see if there's something hanging up or keeping me from being able to proceed. Let's also see if I can figure out what process is trying to hang on to that. D drive. I don't know if it's antivirus or what. There's no backup software or no um, reason that, could I, that I can think of that this isn't able to work in the D drive. All I did was just plug it in. So I can't really see what has a lock on it. Okay, so everything's okay there. What else can I do? Well, point here, there's different options. Does quick partition work? How about convert to an MBR? And now we'll try to create an NTFS. Okay, that worked. Odd, but all right. 
Now let's see if I delete the partition. Notice up here, it's very clearly highlighted. Forget the colors down here. Up here, you can see very clearly which drive you're about to act on. Okay. Convert it to GPT. That worked. And now create an NTFS. And apply. Congratulations. So now I have myself a proper D drive ready to explore and put files on. Let me go ahead and test writing a file to it. Okay, we have an error coming up, a pop under menu. Interesting. All right, all set. So copying to the root of a D drive apparently is uh, nothing to do with partitioning, uh, I guess a Windows 10 thing. So that's that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.